Hey guys, Big Yacker here. Um, tomorrow is the 21st of June, and it is Father's Day. Uh, and with me today is my little kayak and sidekick, Madeline Robinson, AKA Little Yacker. Say hey, Nene. Hey. All right, and uh, she's gonna go ahead and give me some of my Father's Day gifts, which I'm sure some of you guys, a lot of you guys out there, um, with your brand new kayaks or your, uh, your old hand-me-downs or you know whatever you have, uh, if you're as into the sport as I am and as into the sport as my family is, um, you'll be receiving from your ladies a, uh, a bunch of little gizmos and gadget, uh, gadgets for your kayak and adventures. So um, let's go ahead and get into it. Madeline, what? you want to just hand me something? Yeah. All right. So first of all, first off, I got this uh, everything, majority of everything that we got, actually everything that we got, is actually from your local uh, local store, you know that big one that starts with a W. Um, and first off, we got the Outdoor Angler, which is kind of like their um, their their brand of fishing stuff. We got the Outdoor Angler Saltwater Bucket Caddy. All right, so this bucket caddy is really really good for people with your smaller kayaks or with people that uh, like to bring on live wells which uh, I love to fish with mud minnows um, and right now the mullet are just tearing up the banks and so go out there with your cast net and, and get some free bait while it's here you might as well use it um, so like I said uh, this is for your smaller kayaks that can't necessarily fit one of these big guys right here um, alright uh, you know yes the rod holders and everything else they do come in handy um, but these things are clunky now granted the Vibe Kayak Sea Ghost, it does, um, it will fit a, uh, a milk crate um, and it fits it perfectly. Uh, but the Skipjacks, um, it is quite a uh, tight fit. I know a lot of your smaller guys that uh, still are with the Skipjack, um, uh, they, you know, they want something to go ahead and store a lot of their equipment in. And that's where the Bucket Caddy comes in. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this bucket caddy and let you guys see it. Alright, so there's a hundred different ways to set this thing up, um, but this is with your live well, um, you know, you can go ahead and this thing fits, uh, this thing fits on the bucket very snug. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to probably get a larger, taller five gallon bucket. Um, that way, uh, that way the actual skirt doesn't run past it. As you can see, watch out sweetie the skirt actually drops down past it. So you're going to have to get a tall five gallon bucket for this, um, which is no problem at all. Uh, but once you get that tall five gallon bucket, once you get this tall five gallon bucket, it is actually going to work out perfectly. Um, and uh, it won't drag on the kayak and you'll be able to utilize all the pockets that come along with it. All right, so on to the next, uh, on to the next gift. All right. Um, now I've been needing some uh, some really um, some longer pliers uh, to actually reach in the bigger fish's mouth, um, and also it's getting a little warmer, so the deeper waters are going to hold sharks. Um, and so, you know, to use a really really short uh, short needle pliers is not in your best interest. Um, so I got these right here. Now these are Mustad uh, stainless steel. Um, stainless steel long long nose pliers it's got bugs everywhere that hot weather brings a lot of different stuff so um, but these are very long long nose um, I don't really know exactly how long that is but they come with a uh, they come with a little lanyard um, and I will actually not be using this right here everything that I use as far as tools goes directly onto my kayak 
or not on my kayak but on my vest um, to save space uh, but it does come with your lanyard um, and it's not very long so I'll probably end up you know getting rid of this lanyard and making my own um, but these needle nose pliers like I said stainless steel they got your crimper they got um, your actual needle nose um, and then they have your mono cutter um, so I mean you can't really ask for much more in a uh, standard entry level uh, pair of stainless steel pliers all right next Madeline Hi. what <laughs> all right so next on the list last time I went out um, you can buy now you can buy stringers um, for next to no money at all they're like you can get them for 99 cents at your local back uh, t uh, bait and tackle shop um, and they're gonna simply be uh, I don't have any right off hand um, but they're gonna be a simple uh, turn rope um, and as soon as you if you by chance kind of throw them off the side and you're in a strong current um, the fish start to turn and that stuff's just gonna come unraveled and now granted you only spent 99 cents on it but um, you know it's gonna end up getting ruined you're gonna end up having to buy another stringer the next time you go out they come with the really small rinky dink needles this one actually comes with a decent size stainless steel um, uh, needle on the end that you can jam down in the sand if you're uh, fishing off of the surf um, or fishing off of the rivers um, and then it comes with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve of these little clamps right here um, and like I said all this stuff is stainless steel you can easily replace the rope by chance if the rope does mess up everything is easily replaced just go ahead and scavenge your all your uh, all your beads all your uh, rubber tubing um, all your stainless steel metal parts go ahead and put them on your new rope and everything will work out great and you keep using this for a long time all right so Nene uh, thank you very much for a really good Father's Day you and Bubba did a very good job um, and nothing makes me happier than to be all his father so um, Maybe very soon we can go out, we can take your wave and take my sea ghost out and we can catch up some fish. Sound like a plan? Alright, um, you guys, hopefully your Father's Day is as good as mine. Make sure, uh, um, unless, you know, you're taking everybody out there on the water, spend your Father's Day with your family. Um, you know, I'm kind of disappointed a little bit I wasn't able to go out um, on this uh, weekend that I had. That's why I got old Madeline right here helping me out. And, um... It's been a good one so far, and I'm sure tomorrow is going to be just as fun. So, uh, say bye to everybody. Bye. All right. Um, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and if you enjoy uh, enjoy all my videos, um, there's going to be plenty more to come. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe down at the bottom. Like I said, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys got for your father. I'd be, I'd love to hear about them. Let me know if you did anything else on your Father's Day. If you guys went fishing, post down there. Let me know what you guys did on your Father's Day. Make sure you guys are being safe out on the water. And uh, just have fun. So, until next time, tight line.